Numbering 4,500 units, the CSX locomotive roster is one of the most diverse fleets ever assembled, with six active paint schemes and 45 different model types. While the march of YN3B and new wide cab GEs rolls on, it is still possible to view assorted consists of older power, reminiscent of a fading era of the post-merger years. Looking east down the B&O mainline in Fostoria, Ohio, this westbound intermodal train is strictly a CSX classic. While not yet a rarity, this wide cab GE solid YN2 lashup is certainly a classic, representing the late 1990s and early 2000s for the Eastern Giant. Proceeding west to the revitalized railroad town of North Baltimore, we capture the same train again as they get their light to proceed into the intermodal yard just west of town. Leader number 140, a CW44AC, was built by GE at Erie, Pennsylvania in 1996. The 7885, a C40-8W, was rolled out a few years earlier in 1993. The 536 is the youngest sister here, a CW44AH, assembled in 2001. The next set is 10 years senior to the last. 80's standard cab twins, this B20-8 and SD50-2, are leading east past the yard at North Baltimore. Once again, just east of North Baltimore in a quintessential Northwest Ohio scene, we capture the rarity of a B20-8 leading in today's six-axle wide cab environment. Constructed by GE in 1988, the 5968 was a B40-8, but downrated with software limitations in the last few years. Ordinarily in local service, high iron work on this manifest is not a commonality. Trailing the elderly GE is an even older product of EMD, SD50-2 number 2481, built in 1983. Also derated, she puts out only 3,000 horsepower, 500 less than as built.
So next time you're out watching the rails of CSX, don't forget that there's plenty of variety and plenty of heritage.